I wanted to touch on the benefits of why you would want a 10 times magnification on your line splitter for measuring currents. And it's really ideal for measuring small currents. I've got this LED bulb here that draws a very small amount of current. And then on this section of the line is just the amount of current actually being consumed by the bulb. And then here I have a 10 times multiplier like you would have in your line splitter. Let's go ahead and look at some of the differences in measurements and then we'll compare it with an in series amperage measurement to see how accurate they are. For our first meter, we can go ahead and take a look. It's not even gonna register we do times 10 and we're getting 1.8 amps. So if we divided that by 10, that'd be 108 milliamps of current, right? And then we can take a look. We've got the Tesman. Doesn't even register on the amp clamp. If we times it by 10, we're getting 1.08 again. If we take a look on our Klein, we'll see, okay, about 80 milliamps. Then if we times it by 10, 108. And then I'm not sure if we got the Astro AI in there. It's just showing 88 milliamps and then times 10, 108 milliamps. Let's go ahead and take a look at what a reading would be like with an in-series amperage measurement. And let's just see how accurate our measurements were. And you can see too, they were all pretty consistent on the times 10 setting. And what does our meter say? about 107 milliamps. With the times 10 and divided by 10, we got much more consistent and accurate readings from all of our clamps regardless of manufacturer. So I hope that makes sense and I hope that helps.